when one in three children has autism, allergies, autoimmune, and asthma, we need to start looking around at the possible causes. Why on earth we as a society have accepted the illness of our children as so normal? There's this change in the food supply that happened in secret in the mid-90s. GMOs have been introduced. They were made to kill insects. Our gut is affected just the way the insect's gut is. We have leaky gut. The symptom is an inflamed brain. An inflamed gut and an inflamed brain is going to look depressed, autistic, having ADD, all kinds of really bad, quote, mental illnesses. I'm not going to depend on the media to cover this because they have advertisers that are profiting from this. So it's not in their best interests to cover it. What I did was I changed my diet. I stopped eating genetically modified ingredients and foods. I found out about genetic roulette and I went, that's what was wrong with her. Her body was trying to tell her, this stuff is bad for you. They had talked you know, that maybe he had ADHD in addition to autism. And now, since we've taken all the genetically modified foods away from him, his teachers would never guess that. So I started doing some research and checking into it that a lot of people, you know, when they're exposed to GMO foods that they have these allergens, I took them out of my diet, I'm not on any medicine, and I'm fine. I did my own research on the food and decided to go totally organic, eat only non-GMO foods. So now my pain is uh, pretty much at bay and I don't have to have an operation. I have pages of parents who say their kids got better when they went off GMOs. I have to say that I've had many patients that once they've cleaned up their diet and eaten strictly organically, which includes non-GMO food, have just made incredible strides in their health. Doctors are learning about the importance of eating non-GMO and are recommending this to their patients. You learn about it and you say, wow, isn't that horrible? But then you slowly go back to your regular life. For me, unfortunately, what it really took for me to awaken was, were the health issues with my boy. It's not something you can do overnight, it's hard. I encourage moms to do is do it little by little. I recommend for them to just, here's the basic crops and I tell them to avoid those things. Then I tell them about the hidden ingredients and you know the corn and the soy that's in everything under the, those other names. The complaint I hear from people is that it's expensive, but it's way more expensive, all the doctor bills and the hospital bills and being out of work for six months if, if I were to get a hip replacement. Once you've genetically modified a, a generation with bad food, that's continued to the next generation. And I think it's sad that we have to flip the box over and say, are there poisons in our food? I thought that's why we had the FDA. Other countries have put a stop to GMOs. We in the U.S. are governed by other, um, I'd say, big business. You have to see who paid for that particular piece of research to know what the result's going to be. If lots of us are finding out that children are getting healthier by avoiding GMOs, I think we need to start doing that. It really is mostly up to us to stop buying this GMO food. And when we stop buying it, they'll stop making it because it won't be economically viable anymore. I want a GMO for USA. The stakes are really high. We have our genetic code. We've had it for millennia. What are we doing destroying it now and doing it very, very quickly? It's very scary. I worry for my children and grandchildren. Mothers, take your family's health into your own hands. Stop buying GMOs and reclaim our food.